Hello everyone! Good morning if you're watching me in the morning and good evening if you're watching me in the evening or before bed or anything but today I'm coming to you with a new brand new video and it's gonna be about how I passed my first year of medicine. So I enrolled into the Doctor of Medicine 2020 um, and this year was obviously all online. We didn't have any, almost any on-campus teaching. We basically went on campus in the end of January and we were back online in March. So as you can imagine, it's not a lot of time to be on campus and meet people and study in groups. So we had like a month and a half to two months on campus and then we were back online. So watch this video if you're studying online. Watch this video if you want to know how to pass your first year med. I'm going to give you some tips and I'm going to give you some good advice on how to survive first year med and how to study online. So let's go. So first tip number one, if you have online classes, if you have um, online practicals, online workshops, and you have like a timetable of online um, classes this semester, my number one advice, don't procrastinate and attend those classes as they were in real life. So to say, for example, if you have a 9 a.m. lecture, try to get up, go for a run before 9 a.m. and be ready at 9 a.m. Because if you don't skip those classes, it's easier for you to get back on track and to stop procrastinating and in the end being behind. So the main idea is to treat online classes as if it was a real on-campus classes and be as much productive as possible during those hours because you don't want to spend again one hour for example re-listening to that lecture so try to find the force within yourself to stick up to your timetable and attend as if everything was in real life although i know it might be hard and um like you want to sleep in or something but trust me this is number one tip Number two tip is make time for yourself. I remember when we first went online, it was uh, very hard um, to switch to online learning mode. And I remember sitting in my bedroom all day and I thought I need to study twice as much because it's all online and I'm not getting as much knowledge as I, I would like to. So I had to study more and I... And I, I remember I signed up for every class there is possible, um, like Zoom classes and like helping workshops from other students so that I keep myself busy, but I didn't have any time for myself because I was so stressed out. And after a half a year went by and in second semester, I decided that I will, I will find time for myself. So I decided to go on runs. I decided to uh, go for walks, for daily walks. Um, I decided that I will have and pick up my hobby. So I bought myself a piano and I decided to get back on track and be my best self and prioritize myself. So that is very important. Um, also make time for your family and friends because if you think that you have to study all the time and you have to be in classes all the time then you won't find time for your family and friends but if you prioritize them as well then just make a certain um time where you want to spend with them for example on the weekends i usually saw my boyfriend and that's how we got around so that is number two. Number three tip is connect to your fellow students. I know it might be hard online, but studying in groups actually helps you to improve your score and helps you to learn faster and better and more efficiently. And obviously, if you can't meet offline or on campus in libraries and stuff, uh, try to form a sort of uh, groups and meet in Zoom 
and that will definitely help you because you can discuss questions you can ask each other you know your concerns and you can discuss everything so this is the number three tip is to form and connect to your fellow students because if you're online it feels like it feels like you're the only one but actually if you reach out and just send a text like oh do you want to like study together do you want to form a study group and then many many people will join you i promise you that happened in our cohort and maybe the zoom groups not don't work as much as they would in real life i i promise you it's still better than doing everything on your own number four tip keep yourself busy so as I already said, if you say, I don't have time for this, or it takes me two hours to do this, it will take you two hours to do this. If you say, oh, it will make, make take me 15 minutes to do this, it will take you 15 minutes to do this. So in order to um, be more productive, you need to be busy. Um, that is the number one rule I have, because if I have a thousand things in a day, I will make time for every single one of them. If I have one thing a day, I will literally not even do it because I'm so lazy. So the best thing when you're online and it feels like you have a lot of free time, try to just make yourself busy. What I mean is you already have time for yourself, for example, for exercise, pick up a hobby. Um, Of course, if you work, then work. And then also engage in extracurricular activities for example volunteering if it's volunteering if it's research if it's uh you know extracurricular classes like attend workshops sign up to clubs make up make on take on responsibilities because if you're just gonna concentrate on studying it might not even be that well so you need to keep yourself busy and that's the rule that i use that was rule number four tip number four and now on to my last tip is obviously exercise as i realized with studying um where we have to constantly push ourselves and to make um progress it really helps if you also doing that physically so if you are constantly physically active it helps you it puts you in a sort of uh that a mode that you are ready to tackle anything for example i um have an app for running and they give me every new challenge every day for for example uh run today you run like uh two kilometers and then the next day i open it it's like 2.5 kilometers and then you know what i'm saying so when you physically active and when you um, constantly overcome yourself, it helps you with studies because when you study, you also have to do this. And also, studies is um, exercise is very good for your mental health. So if you are um, exercising, it will release the dopamines and serotonin. So you are happy for the rest of the day and you are like chilled and relaxed. So I suggest you strongly in order to pass your... Uh, your course online or whatever you're doing and if you want to pass first year of med exercise um and of of course some tips are very basic like study do your notes and don't procrastinate we all know that but i was just talking about generally what helped me through the online year of first year medicine and this can be applied for both when you study online or whether you're studying in medicine and you're just a, a new med student. So I hope that was helpful. Please like and subscribe if you like my tips and advice. And also if you want to um, follow for more because in the future I will release so many more videos that um, that will be also very useful and helpful. So. Um, I wish you a very good day and yeah, write in the comments if you have any questions, I guess. Bye.